I appreciate you, my guides. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. I'm enjoying this deck. Um, if any of you know of a, you know, more money oracles, uh, uh, send me an email. So you know, check this one out, Mike. If you got, if you got a little sum, because I, I like the money. I, you know, money, it's an important thing. Definitely is. All that kind of fun stuff. I don't like the job thing too much, but uh, you know, I, I I I really want people to uh, get more of the feeling about money chasing them rather than you chasing money. We all know that don't work, man. Let's turn it around here and get money chasing you. That's why I want to play with these cards right here. Get you guys and me too feeling the attraction of money to us without a whole hell of a lot of work. There is, you know, inspired action and all of that, right? But uh, anyway. All right, all right, all right. Let's go, let's go, Aries. Through my Virgo, Virgo, Virgo delicious tonight. Let's go, quick shots. Hello, Aries. Rambling Mike here, gonna play a little bit of tarot with you. I call it quick shots. Uh, I'm gonna pull you a couple cards of love and money here with your quick shots tonight. I'm going to pull uh, from the Money Matters Oracle, and then, you know, as we go into the Lion's Gate, I'm going to play with the Llewellyn right here, uh, see if we can get you a love story, see what's going on around here with the beautiful, beautiful Llewellyn, I do got my love cards with the second half of your quick shots, and, uh, what's this, what's this, the, uh, <laughs> the Grand Lux, the Grand Lux Major Arcanas, Let's do it, Aries. Love and money, my friend. Love and money. For Aries, sun, moon, rise, and Venus. Let's do it, love team. What do we got? Quick shot, Aries. Money, honey. Money coming to Aries. Let's see what's going on. First card out. Wow, public face. Public face. That is about one gorgeous card. Somebody may be doing something online. Anyway, uh, public face came out, Aries. Very, very nice. Uh, follow your heart. Follow your bliss. Become who you want to be. I like this, Aries. Great way to start it, huh? It's okay for you to be you. Aries. First card out. Public face. Give me more. Give me more for my lovely, lovely Aries. Lovely, lovely Aries. What do we got, love team? What's that? Oh, opportunities. Look at this. What is this? Somebody's sitting on a computer right there. Of course, may not be for everybody, but somebody may be uh, stepping into a new world right here, online possibly, or maybe there's some new opportunities. Opportunity came out. It says new job opportunities, change of workplace, uh, maybe a, a business trip or a trip. This is nice. Aries, change is coming just in time. It's okay for you to be you, and change is coming just in time. Public face and opportunity. Tell me more. Tell me more for my lovely, lovely Aries. Money moves. What do we got? Aries. Oh, 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 Lordy. Lordy, take a nap. Take a nap if you need a nap. Oh, take a break. Oh, Aries, you may have been going through it for a little bit. You may have been going through it for a little bit. Did you fire them all? I hope so. I hope so. Um, recharge and regroup. Taking a little break right here. Taking a little break. Hey, there's a stowaway in this deck, Aries. There's a star right oh. There's a stowaway in this deck right here. It's the star card, Aries. Look at this. What's going on over here, man? Somebody's becoming a star. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe online. Huh? It says uh, recharge and regroup. Woosah. Woosah. 
Tell me more, tell me more. Aries, my star baby right here. Ooh, la la, man. I love this in your money cards. Fortune and fame. Taking a break. Regroup and here we go. A couple more for Aries. Money moves, money moves. Mind power came out. Lead with your mind. <laughs> oh, taking the old taking the old heart off the sleeve for a minute. Oh, is that what exhausted's about? Mind power came out, Aries. Uh-huh. You know, that's smart. What's that say? It says using your intelligence. Analyzing data. And thinking rationally. Well, it looks like a break is going to be good, huh? Leading with the mind. Here we go. Here we go, Aries. Public, public public face opportunities it does say exhausted and mind power all right all right all right with a stowaway star card in there by the way give me one more aries money baby money 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 aries wow the money tree came out yeah aries go ahead and take a break man regroup 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 oh look at this right here uh dreams do come true you will get what you have long desired. What a nice spread. It does say enjoy your wealth. <laughs> yeah. New beginnings. New beginnings is right there as well, Aries. How exciting. How exciting. Nice, nice money cards right there. Nice money cards. Says you'll start a new job, start a new life. A clean sweep overall. Absolutely beautiful. Aries, Aries, Aries. All right, let's uh, let's play with the love cards here. Let's play with the beautiful, beautiful Llewellyn. Um, Lionsgate season right now. Love is in the air. Leo season, the heart chakra, all that fun stuff. I always love this season right here. And uh, looks like you're knocking it out of the park. A little bit of a break right now. Take a break. Because it's looking like breakthrough over here with your finances and your career and all of that. New, 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 new showed up over there. So, love team, love team. Let's play with the Llewellyn right here. I'm looking for a love story for my amazing Aries, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Let's go. Let's see what the Llewellyn has to say. Aries. Aries. Wow, you, you pulled the Nine of Cups. Oh my goodness, that's about wish fulfillment. Oh, look at Aries right there. Oh, taking your break. It's like out in the woods, out in nature, taking a break right there. Got a big old cup in your hand. Nine cups came out. We're looking for a love story around here. Tell me more. Tell me more. Aries. Aries. Why is nine cups here for Aries? Oh, who's this? A knight of swords. That's somebody coming, busting a move, possibly fast. Maybe somebody that you uh, would like to come rushing in towards you. Um, they may have some air in their chart. They may have some water in their chart. That is fast movement right there. Aries, I got something to say. Um, feels nice to me because that knight is rushing towards nine cups. Is somebody you've been thinking about? Is somebody you've been talking to? Tell me more. What's going on? It says right there. Oh, it's the fool. It's a fool. It's about a fresh start, a new beginning. Uh, somebody taking a leap of faith, possibly towards my Nine of Cups Aries right here. That's a fool card. It's a major arcana. Aquarius, it's Aries card. It's about a fresh start, new beginning for you. In the arena of love. That's what I'm pulling here is love cards. Aries. Why is the fool here? Aries. Oh, a king of love showed up. <laughs> oh, excuse me. It's the queen of love. It's the queen of love. Um, I mean, you may have some water in your chart. Um, but I always look at the energy with the face cards myself. That's the agape kind of love that just showed up around here. And it also jumped uh, with the star. 
the star came out again. Wow, you pulled the star in your uh, financial cards, your money cards. Now you pulled the star in your love cards. <laughs> look, at, look at that gratitude right there, huh? Arms up to source. Look at this. It's so exciting, man. Look at the fool coming in for the queen of love, king of love. Wow, you got a lover coming in here for you. Um, could be somebody that you've been desiring to come in. I mean, you're pulling the star everywhere. It's, it seems to be your your season, right? Now. Oh, look at it. who's this? It's the king. Of, it's the king. It's the king of cups. Wow, the king and the queen of cups with a star in the middle of them, my Aries friend. Wow. Love is coming in right here, too. Harry's knocking it out of the park these days with Nine of Cups. It looks like something or somebody that you have been, well, desiring for a minute. I like your cards, man. Let's get a love card on it. Aries. Aries. Aries, a love card, please. Forgiving and Learning came out. I could line up with that old exhausted card right there. I was kind of feeling that, you know. I think my last read with Aries had something about the old ex that didn't want to let go and all that. You can check my Aries reading if you want. Forgiving and learning came out as you release and heal the past. You experience more love in your present moment. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's go. Give me one more Aries. 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 Aries, Aries, oh look at make the effort, great love, great loves are taking the steps that we are guided to take, wow I called it great love, the tarot calls it great love too with the king and the queen of cups and a star in the middle of those two right there, Aries, Aries, breakthrough, give me a major arcana for Aries, Major Arcana, love and money, Aries. What? Oh, there's Aries seated in ooh, the Emperor. Male or female, there's Aries seated in your power. Uh, again, that's a four. It's a card of stability. You know, the Emperor runs the, the, the Empire. Uh, <laughs> two other majors right here jumped with your Emperor right there. Uh, source, again, uh, the hermit, uh, the hermit, look at this, look at this favor, that says favor to me, that says favor to me, Aries, it's about planets lining up in your favor, being led and guided by the divine, and uh, the sun came out as well, my friend, what a beautiful, beautiful story right here. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Here comes the sun. Doo, 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 doo. Here comes the sun. Aries. Wow, there's the Empress. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. The Emperor, the Empress, the Divine Guidance, and the Sun. Outstanding, Aries. Outstanding. Um, if you made it this far in the reading, thank you for your view. Hopefully I've earned your subscription as one of your tarot readers. If I have, smash that subscription button, huh? Ring my bell. Hit that old I like mic button. And we'll play some cards in a few short days, Aries. Loving and light. Loving and light. Write us a book. All my love. Bye for now. All right. That was a nice way to start, huh? Aries, baby. Aries. Love and money. Knocking it out of the park. Let's go. Let's see what's going on with my Taurus babies. Taurus. Taurus. Lionsgate. I'm going to put this back over here where it belongs. And let's rock and roll. Taurus. My bull gang gang. My bull gang gang. Okay, Athena. Thank you, my friend. 
All right, all right, all right. Let's go, let's go. Taurus. Taurus. Taurus, love, team, love, and money. Taurus. Taurus. Okay. Let's go. Hello, Taurus. Rambling Mike here. Going to play a little bit of tarot with you. Quick shot. We're going to look at love and money. We're going to start with money first, Taurus. I got my money moves right here. And uh, it's Lionsgate season, you know. So I got the very, very beautiful Llewellyn. We'll see what that talks about. We'll look for a love story in that. I got my love cards and a couple of majors. And um, definitely appreciate you tuning in. Thanks for your like. I saw a stowaway. Oh, a couple of them right here. The sun. <laughs> okay. The sun and the empress. That's a Taurus card. Anyway. Love and money, my lovely Taurus. Let's rock and roll. Let's see what it says. I'm excited for you when I see those two stowaways right there, the Empress and the Sun. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Taurus, Taurus, love and money, quick shot. Let's do it. What's going on, Taurus babies? Taurus babies. Oh, right there, man, right there. These, these stowaways are very interesting. I guess I should put my cards together better, but I'll let me show them to you. These are, these are stowaways I saw in the money deck right here. The Empress and the Sun, and then your power card came out, first and foremost, uh, Taurus. Mm, I like this. this. This is my card about walking in your birthright, knowing who you are, you know, in the divine scheme of things. Power. It says you have the power to take control of your life, your career, your finances, it says to focus on your needs, focus on you. Focus on you, focus on your needs. You got your power back. Tell me more, tell me more. Taurus, 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 babies. Money moves. What do we got here? Oh, wow. Mm, some of you are closing the door. I got the old endings card right there, the old candy skull right there. The old endings. There's a Taurus back on your throne. Walking in your birthright right here. Oh, this is a beautiful card talking about a cycle is over. A cycle is over, my very powerful Taurus. It, it's time for change. A rebirth. See, right here, man. Walking in your birthright. That's how I read that card right there. Walking in your spiritual birthright. Endings. It's time to say goodbye. Well, hasta la vista, sayonara. Let's go, let's go. Aries, Aries. Another stowaway. <laughs> What's going on here, man? <laughs> What's going on? Oh, justice. Oh, justice, a stowaway right here after ending. Very interesting tarot. It's fun, ain't it? And a tower about change. Sudden change, possibly, even. And there's one more stowaway right here. A new world. A new world over and over. <laughs> a new world. The sun shining on the Empress here. Hmm. Very nice. <laughs> Taurus. 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 A new world. Justice. Back in your throne again. Tell me something. Taurus. Money moves. Wow. Independence. Don't you love tarot, man? Independence came out, Taurus. I love that for you. Managing money yourself. <laughs> Um, not depending on others, except maybe source. Not putting your trust in people, male or female. Trusting in you. Trusting in the divine. I like this here, man. New world energy. New world energy showing up around here, Taurus. Here we go, Taurus, Taurus. Why is independence here? Give me some, Taurus. Oh, you're definitely loving on yourself. Back in your throne again. Wellness came out. Eating right. 
uh, maybe working out a little bit, you know, riding a bike, I don't know, a gym. It's a wellness card right there. Uh, I'm ensuring that you're well nourished, um, regaining your strength. I like all this, living a healthier lifestyle. Well, that can happen when, <laughs> you know, when, uh, well, justice shows up. Here we go. I like everything I see here for you, Taurus. Back on your throne. Clearing out an old, oh, wow, vacation. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I love your palm tree right there, Taurus. I love your palm tree right there. Oh, a little, little R&R &R possibly, huh? Uh, eating better. Sleeping better, <laughs> dreaming better. Oh, independence, power, new world, justice. How very, very, very nice, my lovely, lovely Taurus. All right, let's pull some love cards on this for Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. It's a beautiful Llewellyn right here. What have we got? What have we got, love team? Lion's Gate. For Taurus. Who's that? It's King of Pins. I mean, male or female. Again, I mean... Oh, wait a minute. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what's going on around here. King of Pins showed up. Could be my Taurus. Seated on your throne. Money card right there. The old King of Pins showed up right here. Tell me more. Tell me more. Taurus. 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 Oh, a page of cups. You may have a new love offer coming in. You know, I don't put gender with that king right there. But that's a page. And uh, that's a, uh, that's you know, the one that's grounded, bound, stable, which you are right here. That page could be a new energy. Could be an apology from the past. Tell me more. Tell me more. Taurus. It's Taurus. 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 A hangman. Hmm. That's a big Pisces major arcana. A hangman came out. Hmm. Maybe this love story has been stuck here for a little bit. Could be a return. But you know, I mean, if that's what you're believing for. Anyway, I got a page, a page of cops talking to the king or the queen of pentacles right here. Um, hangman is about somebody thinking differently and feeling differently and believing differently. Tell me, why is Hangman here? Taurus. An Ace of Wands came out. Whatever's going on. Somebody wants a passionate new beginning with my amazing Taurus. An Ace of Wands showed up around here. Ooh la la. Oh man, whoever this is is playing serious. Ten of Pentacles came out after that Ace of Wands, you know. That's a little white picket fence in the big pink house. This is a love offer right here. Maybe, well, if, if this love story has been stuck for a minute, uh, we got breakthrough right there with an Ace of Wands to a Ten of Pentacles, Taurus. Um, it definitely lines up um, with your wellness vacation. Wow. <laughs> wow, maybe some of you are going to meet somebody out by the pool. <laughs> Just saying. Here we go, here we go. Couple more for Taurus right here. This is Ace of Wands and Ten Pinnacles. There's an offer on this board right here. Wow, Money Tree came out too. Divine timing. Hmm, this is something that may have been stuck for a little bit. You know, I mean, it is Lionsgate, you know. And uh, the Hangman talks about people thinking and feeling differently and all this. Anyway, it looks very exciting to me, and it looks really nice, too. Um, an Ace of Swords, which is a, a card of clarity, maybe with a hangman right there. Clarity, communication, and it's a victory card right there. 
Very nice. Two aces showed up in your quick shots right here, Taurus. An ace of wands, an ace of swords, seven of pentacles, which is my divine timing card. And the ten pins is on here. But a little page, with a little page over here. It's good. It wants to get sweet. It's <laughs> getting sweet with my king or my queen of pentacles over here. Oh, wow. How about that? How about one more ace? Wow. How about one more ace? Could be new. You know what's going on in your world. Got three aces that showed up in your quick shot. Ace of wands, ace of swords, ace of pins, ten pins, and seven pins. Taurus, let's play a love card on this, please. Let's play a love card on this for Taurus. Talks about a whole new world. Back on your throne. Walking in your authority and your power. Your dominion on earth. Wow, expressing the love. Oh, that changes up that little page a little bit right there, huh? Just go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Oh, it's because you got your attractor on. Well, I mean, the first two cards that stowed away right here on this fun read was the Empress and the Sun shining on them. Attraction. You got your attractor on right here, Taurus, huh? It's about let the past be in the past, be in the now, be in the moment. Enjoy the journey. Wow, this could be the one. You may have already met the romantic partner that you seek. What a fun spread, man. Let's get a major on it. Let's get a major on it. Taurus. Taurus. Taurus, babies. Taurus. Wow, I <laughs> jumped right to it. The lovers. The lovers. <laughs> the lovers with three aces, divine timing, and ten pins. Ooh. Taurus. <laughs> Taurus, there's a magician right there. Is that you? Are you manifesting this? Yeah, obviously. Obviously. Wow, hair fat is your major arcana, too. Ooh la la, Taurus. Wow, happy Lionsgate. Yeah, the lover is the magician, and the hair fat is your major arcana. Ooh la la, my magician. Hey. Taurus, if you made it this far in the read, thank you for your view. Appreciate that. You know I do. Hopefully I've earned your subscription as one of your tarot readers. If I have, smash that subscription button. Huh? Ring my bell. Hit that old I like Mike button if you would. Play some cards a few short days. May all your dreams come true, my friend. Love and light. Bye for now. Wow. Fun, fun, fun. Let's do it again. And this brings us to Gemini. Gemini. All right. Happy Wednesday, my friends. Happy Wednesday to you. Let's do it. Gemini. Gemini. Gemini love team. Love and money. Love and money. Jimmy Jim. Jimmy Jim. Jimmy Jim. Gemini. Love and money. Shake the little well up. Thank you. I'm feeling good. I'm excited about my uh, near future myself. Thank you, sir. Yes, I like that too, Athena. I like that too. It's about change for the greater good. I see it, huh? Yeah, get you some, get you some, get you some. 
<laughs> Gemini. I like that, Athena. All right, let's rock and roll. Let's have some fun, Gemini style. Let's go, Jimmy Jim. Jimmy Jim. Hello, Gemini. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little bit of tarot with you, my friends. Thanks for tuning in one more time. I call it Quick Shots. Uh, looking at love and money. Looking at love and money. Thanks for your like. Thanks for hitting that old subscription button. We're gonna play with money moves right here. A couple of cards with money moves. And then I'm gonna play with the beautiful, beautiful Llewellyn. It is Lionsgate season. I'm looking for a beautiful love story in the Llewellyn right here. I got my love cards. I got a couple of major arcana to top off your quick shot right here, Jimmy Jim. All that being said, let's do it. Gemini, 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 Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, money moves. What do we got? Gemini, Gemini. Here we go, Jimmy Jim. Oh my goodness. Take a break. The old exhausted card came out. Oh Lord. Eh? Go ahead. Get go ahead. <laughs> Draw the curtains up. Take a nap. Take a nap. It says recharge and regroup. Recharging and regrouping. Alright. Why is the recharge and the regrouping? You know. <laughs> oh, the, oh mind power. That's a Gemini card right there. Oh, take a take a take a little break. Hmm? Mind power, um, using your intelligence, analyzing the data, thinking rationally, and leading with the mind. What's Gemini? You taking a little heart off your sleeve for a minute? <laughs> Let's see. Here we go. Yeah, Wusa. Wusa. Wusa, Gemini. <laughs> Wusa. All right, time for a little bit of break right here, man. Spend some time with the divine. That says spiritual work. Um, it says you're a light worker. Um, definitely been through a season here, many of us, huh? Uh, getting back on track with mind power, though. Analyzing the data, <laughs> throwing out what don't work. Well, that's working. We'll keep that. Um, oh, this is opening your heart to spiritual career, maybe, and healing the human heart. Well, oh, that's a light worker right here. Tell me more. What's going on, Gemini? Taking a little break. Tuned in with Source. Wow, success came out. Success, that big beautiful ace of cups looking success right there. Hmm, we'll get the love cards here in a minute. But uh, a little spiritual work and uh, choosing the right direction. Oh, we're changing course here. And actively overcoming difficulties. That old exhausted card right there. I'm liking all this for you. It says you're getting back on track. It actually says you're back on the right track. We got mind power, spiritual work, success after taking a break right here. May have gained a lot of wisdom on this past journey, my friend. Mm, wisdom came out. Um, um, insight. Oh, this is nice. Insight into the nature of physical objects. Oh, it gives you foresight. That's right there by success. Your money could be getting better because right after here is celebration. Celebration. Now, it took a minute to get there, didn't it? it took a minute to get there, but planning for a joyful future. Wisdom. Wisdom comes because, well, we're not going to do whatever we did before that caused the exhaustion card. Huh, mind power. I like all your cards right here, Gemini. 
uh, recharging, regrouping, leading with your mind. Uh, you're a light worker that came out on spiritual work, success. You're on the right track and back on track. Wisdom, um, using your best judgment, and that leads to celebration, planning for a joyful future. Very nice, very nice. All right. A couple of cards from the Llewellyn. A couple of cards from the Llewellyn. For my Jimmy Jam. Let's see if we got a love story in here, huh? You got something that looks like an Ace of Cups. I'm just saying. Let's see what the Llewellyn has to say here. Lionsgate. Lionsgate. Gemini. Gemini. Gemini love team. Let's cut it. Here we go. Here we go. The moon. The moon with a big beautiful owl on that. This is like a divine feminine energy. It's a moon card. It's a major arcana. Can just be some quiet time right over here, you know, the mind power. Tell me, why is the moon here? That is a very powerful, divine, feminine energy, um, intuition, psychic abilities, get your rest. The moon card can talk about get your rest, get your sleep. Tell me, tell me, why is the moon here? Why is the moon here? And mind power. Oh, uh, seven of swords. Well, somebody got fired. Doggone it, man. Seven of Swords. That's that old liars and cheaters. Looks like you're sending them packing over here. Looks like you're sending them packing these days. Exhausted. Uh, the moon card. Enough's enough. The moon card. It's just enough. So the moon and Seven of Swords. And exhausted. Enough's enough. Let's go. Let's go. Tell me about mind power. Leading with your mind. Oh, this is my very... <laughs> oh, Oh, uh, Gemini, this is Nine of Pentacles. Oh, my uh, single, independent uh, <laughs> Nine of Pentacles right there. Or uh, maybe focus on your coins for a minute. Not so much of this uh, Seven of Swords, the exhausted moon energy over here and the old love cards. Enough of all that. That's a very single card right there. It's a very single card and lots of coins. Maybe focus on your coins, yourself, your health, your wealth. Tell me about spiritual works and by Nine of Pentacles for Gemini. Six of Swords, again, is about uh, coming out of challenging times. Uh, getting in the boat. I always see this as source. Come and get in my Jimmy Jam. Put them in the boat right there. There's Paradise Island over there. Spiritual work, quiet time. Looks like Swords has got a plan for you. Let's see. Why is why is Six Swords here? Why is Paradise Island here sitting right by success? Jimmy Jam. Oh, an Emperor showed up. Damn. An Emperor showed up over here. <laughs> no, maybe on Paradise Island over here. Wow. What a nice looking emperor. I mean, I love this deck. It's gorgeous. It's a little welling. Oh, that's a nice looking emperor right there on success, Gemini. It can talk about you being back in your power, seated in your power, seated in your throne again, back on track. But I don't know, man. Um, you may not even see this coming. It could be new. See the pictures? See how the emperor is looking at my nine of pentacles right over there? Mm-hmm. Wow, well, they could be over here on Paradise Island. Tell me more. Tell me more. Gemini. 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 Why is that emperor here on that success card? Oh. It's the world card came out. And here it calls it the universe, but... And that's a major arcana about an old cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. Right there on success with an emperor. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. Go on with yourself. Go on with yourself. Get this feeling about yourself. This That's that feeling of attraction right there. You know. 
attracting, attracting love and money here because we got celebration over here at the end of all this, right? Planning for a joyful future. I see it showing up. Tell me, why is the world card here? Two major arcana coming out of the days of the moon and seven of swords. Judgment, another major arcana. That's a rebirth energy. <laughs> Who's that coming through the door right there? <laughs> Gemini. Gemini, it might be time to get up. <laughs> Oh, Judgment, that's a Scorpio card, Phoenix from its Ashes, Rebirth, Three Major Arcana, right after Six Swords, my friend. Yeah, beautiful. Wow, and one more Major Arcana, too, that's a Fool. It's about a fresh start, a new beginning. It's about a new world here. A new world, maybe a new lover. For my Gemini. Coming out of the moon, seven of swords. Coming out looking amazing, Gemini. Amazing. That's on that mind power right there. And a huge, huge shift. Six swords. An emperor showed up. A new world showed up. Judgment showed up. The rebirth, Gabriel. And a fresh start and a new beginning with a fool card. I love Major Arcanas, huh? These are the cards of the divine showing up in your tarot spread. Give me a love card on this for Gemini. For Jimmy Jim. An emperor of nine pinnacles. Wow, playfulness came out. Look at that. That's a beautiful day. I love that card. Um, says to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Gemini. Yeah, I told you you got your tractor on. Right there, man. Right there, Jimmy Jim. Now, that's my card about let the past be in the past. Be in the now. Be in the moment. Smell the roses. Love on yourself for a minute. Don't put too much pressure on the future. Absolutely beautiful. Attraction and playfulness came out with the love cards. Give me a couple major arcana for Gemini. Gemini. Love and money, please. Love and money. Thank you, love team. Here we go. Oh, the emperor came out again. Whoa. Oh, okay, doke. Oh, there's a fool. A lot of Aries here, huh? Just saying. There's a fool. Give me one more. Jimmy Jim, Jimmy Jim, there's an emperor. <laughs> Looks like they're about to take a leap off the love cliff. We keep coming back to Gabriel blowing that horn about. Rebirth, Phoenix from its ashes, uh, victory, and, and transformation. I wouldn't say it's whoever Seven of Swords is over here. Mm -mm. Not when that one comes out. That's about death, birth, resurrection, and major transformation. For my Gemini. Hey, Jimmy Jim, if you made it this far to read, thanks for your view. Appreciate that. You know what I do. Hopefully I've earned your subscription as one of your tarot readers. If I have, smash that subscription button. Huh? Ring my bell. Hit that old I like Mike button. I will play some cards in a few short days. What's it say right here? Plan for a joyful future. May all your dreams come true, Jimmy Jim. Love and light. Bye for now. All right, cancer babies, cancer babies, cancer babies. I love the lovely cancers. Hey, DM, nice to see you tonight. Hello, everybody. Happy Wednesday. See you, cancer. Let's get Cancer up here. See what's going on, my lovely, lovely Cancers. Hey, Tanya. Nice to see you tonight. All right, all right, all right. I'm doing great. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my friend.
Cancer. Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You got Cancer in your chart. Maybe something in here for you. I already feel good. What's going on, Cancer? I already feel good shuffling your cards around right here. All right. All right. A little sip of my coffee. And let's go. Cancer babies. Cancer babies. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's do it. Hello, Cancer. Rambler Mike here. Gonna play a little bit of tarot with you. Call it Quick Shots. We're gonna take a look at love and money. We're gonna start your spread off with the money moves. And, you know, it's Lionsgate right now. For the next several weeks. Uh, I got the beautiful, beautiful Llewellyn. Looking for a love story for you right here with the Llewellyn. I got my pink, the love cards, and I got a couple of majors from the Grand Lux. All that being said, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Appreciate it. You know I do. Let's play some tarot. Cancer babies. Cancer babies. Money moves. Money moves. Money. Money, honey. Cancer. What's going on? Here we go. Direction came out. Hmm. That's a fun card. Got you got your guidebook right there. Direction. Look at this. It says plan where you want to be. But you got you got a plan. It says don't deviate from your path. Wow, that's a good plan. Oh. Attracting. Get your attractor on. Tell me more. Tell me more. Cancer. 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 Oh, wow. An angel just showed up around here, Cancer. Oh. Heavenly host showed up in your spread. Oh, leading and guiding you. Wow, look at this, man. Guardian angel looking at the book. The direction. Ooh, it says stay on course, stay on target. What are you, what are you, what are you thinking? What are you planning? This says right here, uh, higher powers are protecting you. Yay. Protecting you from difficulties and misfortunes. Trust the divine. Tell me more, tell me more. Cancer. Cancer. Direction. Guardian angel. Here we go. Cancer public face came out. Ooh, you look gorgeous. You look gorgeous, darling. Public face, Cancer. Look at the angel looking right at that. Direction. Public face. It's okay for you to be you. That's such a powerful card. There's only one of you. It says follow your heart, follow your bliss, become who you want to be. It's okay for you to be you. Public face, direction, divine protection. Nice stuff, man. Here we go. Cancer. Cancer. What's that then? Wow, success came out. <laughs> hey, stay on, stay on target, Luke. You're going to hit the mark, it says right here. Cancer, success came out. Oh, you're on the right track. Uh, choosing the right direction. That's where it started over here, didn't it? It says don't deviate from your dreams, from your path. Be you. Be excited about being you. Know that you're divinely protected at this particular point in time for always. Actively overcoming difficulties. That's breakthrough. That's breakthrough, ain't it? Actively overcoming difficulties, choosing the right direction. Directions over here. It says you already know where you want to go. All right, all right, all right. Give me one more. Give me one more. Cancer. 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 
Oh, wow, look, man, the birthright card came out. You yeah, know, knowing who you are in the spirit realm, knowing your birthright, that's what I put with this card right here. It's, it's the power card. Um, you have the power to take control of your life, take control of your career, take control of your finances. What a powerful spread right here. Focusing on you, focusing on your needs. Very, very powerful. I call that healthy selfishness. Wow, new beginnings. New beginnings, Cancer. Good morning, my friend, huh? Hitting the restart button. Um, here it says you may start a new career, start a new job, start a new life. A clean sweep overall. Absolutely beautiful, man. Direction, planning where you want to be, guardian angel, trust the divine, public face. It's okay for you to be you. Success. You're on the right track. Power. This is my birthright card. Knowing your birthright. Right? Spiritually. Knowing your dominion and your authority on earth. Uh, focusing on you and your needs. And then new beginnings right here. Hitting the restart button. Well, go on with yourself. Go on with yourself. Go on with yourself, Cancer. All right. Real breakthrough right there, huh? All right. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's play with the Llewellyn. Lionsgate. Let's see what it says. See what it says, love team. We're looking for a love story for cancer. The beautiful, beautiful Llewellyn. Thank you, Source. Cannot do this without you. Appreciate you. What we got? Love, cancer, Lionsgate. What's going on? Wow, an Ace of Swords came out. You're having some breakthrough around here, my friends. Can be a communication card, um, air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Uh, that's a new beginning card right there. It's about clarity, maybe new communication, honest communication. That's a fun card right there. It's a card of victory. It's a card of a new beginning. Um, these hanging on here are traditionally palm fronds and olive branches which talk about peace and tranquility another ace is right there an ace of pinnacles you're pulling aces right after this new beginnings right here cancer wow this is uh, uh maybe somebody's got some earth because we're looking for love right here Maybe somebody's got some earth in their chart. Maybe somebody's got some air in their chart. But those are beautiful, beautiful cards. Um, that's the cornerstone of the Ten of Pentacles. Honest communication. Clarity. I like this. Tell me more. Tell me more. Cancer. 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 Why are those aces here? Oh, who is this? I mean, this is an energy right here. It's the Queen of Pentacles. I mean, I know you got water in your chart. I know you do. But uh, this is like an offer coming for the catch. The catch, male or female, my cancer. Got an offer going on. You know, the Queen of Pentacles is grounded, balanced, loving, generous, kind, giving. She's the queen. She's the queen of the world. Look at this, man. There's an offer coming in here. For a cancer something solid because that's the only thing that uh, that Queen would be interested in tell me more tell me more about this new offer why are these two aces here um, being offered to the catch hmm six swords came out now that talks about coming out of challenging times in love, direction, six of swords is my card about swords coming in here, grabbing my cancer up, putting them in the boat, 
Taking him over to Paradise Island. That is sitting right there by success, too. Tell me more. Why is Six Swords here for cancer? Cancer. It's the lovers. <laughs> I love this deck. What a gorgeous lovers card, huh? Cancer. The love boat showed up. Well, we can call Six Swords the love boat, huh? <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. To the Queen of Pentacles energy. That's the catch, male or female. Six Swords brings us out of old choppy times. There's a lover's right. Let me show you this gorgeous lover's one more time, Cancer. The lover's card show. <laughs> oh, right there on success. Oh, very nice, Cancer. Wow. Bottom of the deck is one of my faves. It's the Four Wands. Ooh la la, on success. Cancer, get ready to dance around the maples right here. Get ready for the big day. That's my uh, get ready for the big day card. It's the lovers and four wands, too. It's pretty special energy, huh? Pretty special energy. Well, Source, take us over to Paradise Island. Thank you. Wow, and another ace. <laughs> yeah. That one, Cancer. Boom, da da boom, boom. Boom, da da boom, boom. I'm new beginnings over here. <laughs> Walking in your birthright, the power card, success. Ooh la la. Look at the last three cards that came out, man. Oh, send the boat, Source. Send the boat. <laughs> we want to go. We want to go over there. Oh, man. How beautiful is that? Cancer. Cancer, the love us. A passionate new beginning right here. Four of Wands. And the lovers and the... Oh, look, oh, look, it's the King of Pins. It's the King of Pins. Look at these two, Cancer. The King and the Queen of Pinnacles are here, my friend. Uh, you know, <laughs> get ready for the big day. Happy Lionsgate, my friend. Happy Lionsgate, Cancer. <laughs> oh, yeah, six of coppers, man. Oh, Cancer. What a beautiful, beautiful spread, man. Yeah, go ahead. Enjoy enjoy the love boat. Looks like it's coming in around here. Absolutely beautiful. Cancer, give me a love card here for Cancer, please. Cancer, King and Queen of Pins, Six of Cuppers, you know. Um, maybe you know who this is. Maybe you don't. It's a soulmate energy, past life lover. Showing up around here with three aces, man. Three aces and the lovers. <laughs> Let me show you that lovers one more time, man. Oh, cancer. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. A love card for cancer, please. Here we go. Wow. These feelings are real and worth exploring. You may already know. You already may know who I'm reading for right here. Fun, fun, fun. One more. Cancer. What do we got? Attraction. I told you you got your attractor on. Attraction for me is about let the past be in the past, be in the now, be in the moment, smell the roses, enjoy the journey. Because it looks like you're heading for the big day. Give me a card right here. Cancer. 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 What do we got? The High Priestess came out. The High Priestess has an overall right here. Four Wands, Six Cups, King and Queen of Pentacles, the Lovers. My guess is that you guys can communicate with each other without using a telephone. You know, telepathy. Telepathy. Oh. <laughs> Wow, give me one more, <laughs> give me one more. Cancer, cancer. That's a hangman. That's a, that's a hangman. 
and on the bottom of the deck is a devil. Did you fire somebody recently? Breaking chains that bind? Some coming unstuck? I mean, I looked right down and saw that Ace of Swords. Some of you may have cut yourself out of a tree. And some of you may have fired the old devil over here. Or, 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 anyway. Chains have been broken right here in this love spread. I'm excited for you. Wow, here's your, here's your star. Here's your star. Um, it's about dreams coming true, faith, hope. It's absolutely a beautiful spread for cancer. <laughs> cancer. Hey, if you made it to this part in the reading, Cancer, thank you so very much for your view. Very appreciate it. You know I do. Hopefully I've earned your subscription as one of your tarot readers. If I have, smash that subscription button. I'll ring my bell. Hit that old I like Mike button. And we'll play some cards in a few short days. May all your dreams come true, my lovely Cancers. Bye for now. Wow. All right. My lovely, lovely Leos. My lovely, lovely Leos. Lionsgate. Happy birthday, Leo. Happy birthday. Capricorn Soul Tribe. Hello, my friend. Hi, Deanna. Nice to see you. Thank you, my friend. Now I feel good. Hope you do, too. Let's play some more tarot. Leo style. Leo style. Hangman did come out in reverse right there. It did. It did. Um, I mean, I, I read that real quick. Kind of surprised when Hangman and the Devil comes up in a major. We're having a rock and reading. And then the Devil shows their ugly face. Um... I just read it as breaking chains of bind, right? Six swords was in there. All that. Read it accordingly. It definitely talked about somebody coming out of Hangman's Tree for cancer. All right. Let's check him up for Leo. Leo. Yes. Letting go. Oh, the devil's letting go. <laughs> Four of Wanders. Come on, man. Come on. All right. All right. Let's take him up. I'm going to focus on Leo. Let's see what's going on with my lovely, lovely Leos. Leo, love team. Leo. Leo. Let's take up to Llewellyn. Leo, babies. Leo Davis. All right, let's rock and roll. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's do it, love team. What we got for my lovely Leos? Hello. Leo, Rambling Mike here, going to play a little bit of tarot with you. Thanks for tuning in one more time. And by the way, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my lovely Leos. Happy birthday to you and many more. Happy birthday, Leo. I always enjoy your season. You know, the old heart chakra opening, Lionsgate. Doing quick shots with you.
going to play with a money deck, money moves. And then, well, it's Lionsgate. I got the very beautiful Llewellyn. Gonna look for a love story in there for my Leos. Got my love cards. And a couple of major arcana right here. To top off your quick shots here tonight. Thanks for your like. Thanks for the subscribe. And let's play some tarot. Leo. 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 Money moves. Money moves for Leo. Sun, moon, rise, and Venus. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. Leo. Oh, many choices came out. <laughs> Lots of balloons there, Leo. Lots of balloons there. Oh, many choices. Choose wisely. Just say take a look at all of your options. Mm. <laughs> Well, there may be one particular. Let's see what comes out around it. I know it's money. Can be talking about look at your options for employment or career opportunities. Um, opportunities abound. Opportunities abound. Tell me more. Tell me more. Leo. Leo. What we got? Exhausted came out. But there's some balloons over here that ain't working for Leo. Exhausted came out. Hmm. Says, look at all your options. Um. Well, what's this say? Uh, opportunities abound when you're in a dilemma. Hmm. Look at all your options. And exhausted came out. Recharging and regrouping. That card's been coming out for a lot of my friends. Take a, take a minute right here. Take a minute right here. You may want to pop some of those balloons. Tell me more, Leo. 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 Yeah, Usa. Usa. A little quiet time, maybe. Hey, this does say spiritual work. Open your heart, uh, maybe to a spiritual career. I mean, it's a career deck right here. But, um, you know, it's time for recharging and regrouping. You may be popping some of these blooms over here. Hmm? Huh? It says you're a light worker. I'm reading for a light worker right here. Many choices. <laughs> Taking a break from many choices. Um, spiritual work. Tell me more. Tell me more. Why is spiritual work here? That that that's a healing. Spending time with source. What's this about? Opportunities came out. New opportunities. New new career opportunities. New job opportunities. Change of workplace. Change is going on around here, Leo. Uh, maybe a trip. It says business trip. It says change is coming just in time. Hooray, hurrah. Hooray, hurrah. Change is coming just in time. Spend a little bit of time with the divine. You know, regroup. Uh, recharge. Opportunities. Look at that picture right there. Very interesting picture with opportunities. Tell me more. Tell me more, my lovely Leos. Oh, it's the surprise card. <laughs> Leo, looks like Swords is cooking you up a little cake around here. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Look at that. Look at that. An unexpected turn. Brings positive change. Be ready to change. <laughs> Some of my stuff fell over there. <laughs> Surprise. Surprise. An unexpected turn brings positive change. Be ready for change. Change is coming just in time. Look at all these change. Change is coming just in time. Recharging and regrouping. 
looking at all your options. I bet some of these balloons are getting popped over here. Anyway, surprise, surprise, surprise. I got you back on your throne again right here, Leo. This is my birthright card, right? Knowing your birthright, your, your spiritual birthright. You have the power to take control of your life, of your career, and your finances. Focus on you and your needs. Very powerful. Leo, change. Change. Change for the better. All right. Let's see what the love cards have to say. Love for Leo. Lionsgate. Let's do it. Let's cut this deck. See what Llewellyn has to say. Lionsgate for Leo. Oh. Oh. Lord, did you pull the change card here overall? <laughs> or what, man? That is the death card. That is Scorpio, death, birth resurrection and major transformation this is on the love portion right here but these cards do seem to blend together change big change going on around here with all these uh balloons all these balloons tell me more tell me more why is the death card here for leo it's a beautiful card it's about the butterfly coming out of the cocoon leo Oh, Six of Swords. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you going? I'm digging this for you. Because that's Paradise Island over there for me with Six Swords. That's Source. Come on, Leo. We're getting in the boat. We're going to go over the River of Sticks right here. Because here's the River of Sticks. You know. Uh-huh. We're uh, leaving that all behind. Exhausted right here. Enough's enough. Enough's enough. We got regrouping, recharging, spiritual work. And then we got new opportunities, surprise, and you walking in your birthright over here. Tell me more. Why is Six Swords here for Leo? Six Swords takes us to Paradise Island. And may have been thinking about ending something for a while right here with the death card, right? Six Swords, Six Swords about thinking. Then comes movement in the 3D. Man, there's a justice card right there. That's a major arcana, Leo. Oh, that sword looks pretty sharp. Hmm. And that is the balancing of the scales right there. Balance. Look at six swords heading for justice. Wow, this is definitely some... Something's been out of alignment for a while around here, Leo. Looks like Leo's had enough. Oh my God, 10 swords, damn it. Damn it. 10 swords, you know. Uh, 10 swords is about, well, maybe betrayal and all that. Death card is here. Leo, oh my love. Uh, 10 swords talks about the ending of a very painful cycle and the promise of a new day to dawn. And we got spiritual work. So, Wusa, take a little time with you, loving on yourself. Uh, if this is resonating with you right here, because justice is here. Six of Swords, a lot of air. A lot of air here, Leo. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, possibly. Uh, There's a Scorpio card over here, too. Um, give me another card. Give me another card, because it definitely talks about ending a painful cycle. And the promise of a new day to dawn. I'd like to look at the new day dawning. Love for Leo. Thank you. Seen enough of the past right here. Let's go. Let's go, Leo. Oh, wow. What's th This came out of the blue. This came out on opportunities. And surprise. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> oh, that could be new right there, Leo. 
As soon as I said, Source, let's look at the new. Bam, two cups showed up. That's a soulmate energy, huh? Lordy, surprise, surprise, surprise. Justice is here. Ending a painful cycle with the promise of a new day to dawn. Maybe a new lover. Look good to me so far. Why don't you love it on yourself? Tell me more. Why is two cups here? Why is two cups here for my lovely, lovely Leos? Wow, chariot. Big cancer energy right there. Ooh la la, man, on the surprise card. It's a card of forward movement. It's definitely a card about leaving this energy behind. Yay, Leo. You're pulling uh, major arcanas in between two cups, right? Justice, two cups, and a chariot. Um, look at the chariot heading towards... Oh, what is this? Look at that picture. Chariot coming in here. Leo, seated in your power, walking in your birthright. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Be ready for change. And the chariot came out after two cups. Tell me more. Tell me more, my lovely Leo. Oh, wow. Six of Wands. This is a Leo card. Six of Wands. It's Jupiter in Leo. It's about victory after the battle. Confidence in yourself. Receiving the attention that you are worthy of. Yeah, I want you I want you just loving on yourself right now. If this is where you're at. Huh? Focusing on your needs. It says right here, focus on you, focus on your needs. And let the universe surprise you right here. You know, sometimes being a tarot reader, I mean love should be a surprise. Sometimes as a tarot reader, I wonder, mm, I seem to be anyway. We got a surprise card right here, Leo, with a chariot. Two six of wands and Leo seated in your power, walking in your birthright. Ah, this is gorgeous, man. Real breakthrough right here. Let's get a love card on here for Leo. Let's get a love card on here for Leo. Let your friends help you. Well, I always see that as your friends in high places. You know, could be the Six of Swords right here, because I always see that as Source. You know, come on, Leo, let's get in the boat. we got a better world for you. Anyway, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. My Leo. <laughs> here we go. Give me another one. Leo. 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 Oh, an attractor. Attraction. Look at this. This card's been coming out tonight for many of my friends. That's a card about being in the now, being in the moment, letting the past be in the past, not putting too much pressure on the future. And definitely says you got your tractor on right here for something new, something fresh, something exciting. Chariot to six wands, two cups, justice. <laughs> Give me a major for my lovely Leos. My lovely Leos. Leo. A death card came out again. Death, birth, resurrection, major transformation, justice, two cups, chariot, six wands. Leo, seated in your, seated in your throne right there. Give me one more major for Leo. Wow, the lovers, Leo. The lovers. <laughs> Let's put that over here by two cups, chariot, six wands, and the lovers. Looks like, oh, there's your son. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Leo, go on, get your son. <laughs> get, get some sun. Get some sun, Leo. Hey, if you made it this part in the reading, Leo, thank you so very much for your view. I appreciate it. You know I do. Hopefully I've earned your subscription as one of your tarot readers. If I have, smash that subscription button. Huh? Ring my bell. Hit that old I like Mike button. And uh, we'll play some cards a few short days. All my love, Leo. Bye for now.
All right. Virgo. Virgolicious. Virgolicious. Virgo. All right. I've seen somebody ask if I'll be doing readings tomorrow night. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Thursday night, um, what's that, Water Babies? I will absolutely be uh, doing readings tomorrow night, Friday night, Saturday night for, for the nation. So, yeah, I know I, uh, I've been uh, MIA, and uh, I'm going to do my best to catch up everybody um, that's got your milestone markers available. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I will be uh, doing my readings as well. So thank you for your patience. Thank you for your understanding at this time. And let's rock and roll with my lovely, lovely Virgos. Let's shake them up. Virgo babies. Virgo babies, Virgolicious, Virgo, loving money, Virgo, loving money, Virgo. Virgo love team, Virgo. Rock and roll Virgo style. Hello, Virgo. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little bit of tarot with you. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Appreciate your view. Yeah, no, I do, Virgo. Thanks for the like and the subscribe. Gonna do quick shots for you here. Love and money. Gonna start with Money Moves Oracle deck for you, my Virgo friend. See what that has to say. And, uh, you know, we're entering into Lion's Gate season right here in Leo season. A lot of heart chakras opening. I'm gonna look for a love story for you with a very, very beautiful Llewellyn tonight. I got my love cards and a couple of major arcanas from the Grand Lux. All that being said, Virgo, let's play some tarot. Virgo, Virgo, money, honey, money, money, come to Virgo. Let's do it, Virgo, 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 babies. Here we go, cutting the deck for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Direction came out. Well, you may have a plan. You may have a plan when this card comes out. You may have your, your guidebook opened up. Direction. Because this says don't deviate from your uh, from your path, from your plan. Um, it does say plan where you want to be. Okay. It says you got your attractor on too. Tell me more, Virgo. Virgo. Why is direction here? Oh, wow. What is this? <laughs> Social status came out. Virgo. <laughs> oh, that's a nice plan right there. Looks like you're back on your throne, to say the least. Social status came out on direction. Hmm. It says you will reach the heights of fame. <laughs> oh, 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 that's good to know. It also says don't be arrogant. 
<laughs> stay balanced. Some of you <laughs> may be going up to a higher level around here. I like your plan book right there. Tell me more. Tell me more. Virgo. 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 Oh, you focus on you focus on you right now. Wellness came out. Wellness came out. Um, living a healthier lifestyle. Hmm? Maybe out riding your bike. Uh, maybe going to the gym. Eating better. Feeling better. Thinking better. Coming up. Coming up, man. Social status. Direction. Plan where you want to be. You'll reach the heights of fame. Stay, stay balanced. Wellness. Focus on you. Very nice. Virgo. Virgo. What we got right? Oh, wow. Success. Yes. Stay on target, Luke. <laughs> hey. Hey, success showed up around here. Choosing the right direction. And actively overcoming difficulties. You're on the right track. Over here it said, follow your bliss, follow your dreams. And then something about social status. Anyway, they're looking like Virgo. Back on track. And wellness and loving yourself. And doing what's best for you. Success. We got direction. Social status. Wellness. Success. Give me one more for Virgo. Virgo. Got breakthrough right here if you ask me. Oh, public face again. You look gorgeous. Look at this. Virgo. What you doing these days? What you doing these days? Look at all this, man. Loving on yourself. Following the old guidebook over here from Source. Success. Public face. This is a nice card right here. It says follow your heart. Follow your bliss. Become who you want to be. Uh, it's okay for you to be you. And I love the spread right here for you. I love the spread right here. But foresight. Go ahead and see it. Be it. What's that? The all-seeing eye of Horus? Paying attention to things that are important to you. It says we'll ensure wealth. Be farsighted. Be farsighted and alert. Wow, Virgo. Virgo, my friends. Wow, my goodness. Who am I reading for? Star power. Star power. <laughs> ah, becoming an influencer of the company or... Um, I don't know what all this is about. Huh? Uh, earning fame. Again, earning fame, fortune, popularity. Stepping into the spotlight. That's right there by foresight. Be farsighted and alert. Success is right in the middle of this. Following the guidebook, right? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely gorgeous, Virgo. Let's take a look at some love cards here for you. Huh? See what uh, the Llewellyn has to say. Lionsgate season. What do we got, love team, for my lovely, lovely Virgos? My lovely, lovely Virgos. Lionsgate. We'll be we'll be rocking this energy, huh? Maybe a month or so. Let's see what's going on. Virgo. Oh. I don't know. Look at all this. This is eight pins. And all this right here, right? Um social status, wellness, success. Eight pins. Public face, star power, foresight. You may just be interested in working on your world right now with eight pentacles. Although I'm going to keep looking and see what's going on around. There may be love coming in here for you. Look like you're busy, though. Look like you're busy punching up a bunch of coins right there. Virgo. 
Virgo. I'm looking for a love story for Virgo, please. Here we go. What's going on? Oh, the High Priestess came out. High Priestess, a major arcana, Pisces Cancer energy. Very intuitive, right? Psychic abilities. Tuned in, tapped in, turned on to the divine. Look at these two cards right here, Virgo. Um, Persephone gets to come up out of Hades. That's Persephone. And she gets to go dance in the sun. Might have to do with your psychic abilities. I don't know. It's a high priestess. She knows. She knows what's coming. She feels it in her feeler. She knows it in her knower or he. Virgo. Virgo. Some cards for Virgo, please. <clears throat> Excuse me. Some cards for Virgo, please. Wow, the Empress came out. <laughs> oh, Virgo, you're pulling major arcanas right here. I told you, Persephone gets to come up out of Hades. And she gets to go live in the Garden of Eden, or she goes with the sun shining. The Empress showed up, my friends. Venus incarnate in the earth. That's love and abundance. It's certainly lining up with all these oracle cards here two major arcana the empress venus and the high priestess tell me why is the empress and the high priestess here for virgo oh who's this <laughs> who's this the king of pentacles just showed up a king of pentacles sitting by the empress hmm Hmm, look at that. Now, it could all be your energy right here, right? Because I don't put gender with these tarot cards. I don't put gender with any of these. It's an energy, though, of winning and money <laughs> and success. It's an outstanding tarot reading. There may be a pairing right here. There may be a pairing coming in here for you. But I think you're more focused maybe on the coins right now. It does show a king of pentacles sitting by an empress. Tell me more. Tell me more. Virgo. 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 Why is that king of pentacles here? Oh, it could be a new friend. I don't know. Oh, I'm giggling. Look at that. Look at that knight of wands. Uh, hi Virgo. <laughs> hi Virgo. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> That's a great adventure right there, Virgo. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not too nervous with that King of Pentacles energy because King of Pentacles is grounded, balanced, stable, loving, generous, kind, giving. <laughs> yeah, That's interesting, huh? Big old, big old passion pony showing up right there, Virgo. That's the risk taker. <laughs> That's the risk taker. Uh -oh, nine of cups on the bottom of the deck. Damn. <laughs> you may be receptive. <laughs> we got some wands and we got some cups. <laughs> oh, okay. Nine of cups is about, you know, <laughs> wishes coming true. <laughs> Oh, I like it. I like it right here. Hey, you may have to take a day off. <laughs> you may have to take a day off, Virgo. Got success on here. A lot of passion. A lot of happiness coming in here for you. It's what the tarot's talking about. In the arena of love. Hmm. Very nice. Very nice. Oh. Well, you don't have anybody to blame for this except yourself. There's your magician card. That is a Virgo card. <laughs> yeah, I love it. You love it. Uh, this deck's gorgeous, man. Uh, the magician showed up. You know, as above, so below. As within, so without. Um, it's my manifester. Wow, manifesting nine cups. 
Manifesting dreams. Got a passionate pony showing up around here with the King of Pentacles in your tarot spread. Lionsgate. Coming up out of Hades. Coming up out of Hades of the High Priestess. Oh, wow. It's the High Priestess and the Magician. That can be a nice match. That could be a nice match. It's right there with nine cups. Well, I'm, I'm excited with your cards. Give me a couple more right here. Virgo, Lionsgate. <laughs> Another major arcana. Strength. Strength. Oh, Lordy. Can be quite a passionate card. Mm, I'm having fun with your read. Looks like there could be some passion coming in here, Virgo. But, you know, uh, the King of Pentacles sent by the Empress. More than passion. More than passion, but definitely passion. Nine of Cups, happiness. Says that you've manifested all this. The Magician, that's your major arcana. And strength came out. Strength came out. Yeah, it's a love offer. It's a page of... It's a page of cups, which in simple tarot is a love offer. A love offer. Hmm. Wow, with great potential. Look at that, 10 pins. I told you I wasn't worried too much about this Knight of Wands right there, because it's sitting by the King of Pins, and it's sitting by the Nine of Cups. And it's said by the magician. Then we got strength <laughs> and a page of cups. And wow, ten of pins. Look at you. Look at your story. Look at your story, man. Now, see it. Feel it. Believe it. That's how the magician does it. Outstanding cards, outstanding cards. My lovely, lovely Virgo. Give me a love card on this, please. Give me a love card on this for Virgo. Wow, look at that, because you deserve love. Happy Lionsgate. Happy Lionsgate. You are lovable. Wow, soulmate. Love your cards. Love your cards, Virgo. Soulmate. True love. The romance of a lifetime. What a nice spread, huh? What a nice spread. Hey, Virgo, if you made it this part of the reading, thank you so very much for your view. I appreciate it. You know I do. Hopefully I've earned your subscription as one of your tarot readers. If I have, smash that subscription button. Uh, ring my bell. Hit that old I like Mike button. And uh, we'll play some cards in a few short days. Uh, may all your dreams come true, my Virgo friends. Love and light. Bye for now. Outstanding readings tonight.